Hey, good morning. This is W D O G. And welcome back. We hope you had a great week, all right? Hey, we got a great show for you today, but first we got to give you the 411. Progress reports were sent out this week. Students, you need to make sure to keep those grades up. That's right. We only have four, five, five, four, four and a half weeks left in the semester, all right? Keep them grades up, all right? Keep trucking. This Monday, the 28th, we'll be having an open house, which your parents can come to to meet your teachers from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Yeah, this week, Blood Assurance have brought the blood bus to visit MHS while students participate in this year's first blood drive. Because of recent tragedies, blood banks have been taxed and are running low. And we'd like to thank all of our students and give a huge shout out to them that helped. WDOG would like to congratulate the 2015-2016 Homecoming Court. It will be held at halftime of the Hazel football game on October 23rd. The theme is A Star on Broadway. The freshman representative is Ellie Martin. The sophomore representatives are Peyton Wood and Amara Leak. The junior representatives are C.R. Roberts, Layton Brown, and Emma Strapp. And last but not least are the senior representatives, Haley Brown, Alice McGuire, Claire Gothberg, and Madison Hunter. We have 15 days left until October 9th. That's right. Remember, that'll be the last day that your books will be on sale for $60. And for you seniors, that's the last day you get your casual and your baby ads turned in. We'll be having our second annual fall festival on November 10th. And November 5th, the chorus and the band will have a special Veterans Day performance. Club Day was a huge success. We would like to thank all of our active students. That's it for MHS News. Now let's see how Taylor can enrich our lives with this week's character trait. <laughs> Thanks guys, welcome to character. This week's character trait is trustworthy, something Def Jam is not. Trustworthy is the ability to be relied on as honest or truthful. Now let's look at another way we can diss Dalton. Go to a dance! Big germ, right here, dude. Oh, oh, man, dude. Good, good job, Dalton Kit. That's right. A lie can travel halfway around the world while the truth is still tying his shoes. Now to Dance Movie of the Week. Thanks, Taylor. Now with this week's Dance Movie of the Week, this week's Dance Movie is The Twist. <laughs> Somebody, I can't even get it off me. It's going to take about the whole team to get this off me, so uh, just ready to get in the locker room and do that. So, uh, yeah. All right, one more question. What's up? 
what do you plan on doing after this humongous win? Well, I thought about going to eat, which I'm going to do after I go film WDOG. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome to sports, guys. Uh, I guess this week it's just me. Wait a second. Dude, <sighs> <sighs> I had a game. Be Gilmer, dude. Oh my god. Lost my wristbands and my towel, and uh, let me change real quick. I can't get it. Do you need some help, buddy? Please, it's too tight. Dude, I feel so much better. I bet, I bet, but uh, you forgot something. What did I forget? My helmet's right here. Pads are off, dude. Change out of that just like that. <laughs> but now, welcome to sports with your boy DK and your boy Big German. This week in sports ball, I had three games, not two, three, three. Had a tough loss against Smoky Mountain on Monday, and also uh, another tough loss on Tuesday against Robbinsville. But uh, they played a great game last night against Rosman, and uh, it's a really good game, really good game. Hey, Amen. Did you go to that? No. Me either. I had practice and it was in Rosman. Can't travel that far. Mm -hmm. But hey, still heard you played a really good game last night. Now to soccer. Soccer had two matches this week. Losing the first one, but uh, fought really hard in the second game. Fought really hard. They did, though. Yeah, they did. Shout out to Gavin for having his first goal. That's right. First goal. First, number first one. Goal. First number goal. one. First goal. I remember when I had my first goal. I'm just kidding. I've never played soccer. I don't remember. Not across country. Uh, they had an off week this week. Yeah, they did. I don't know why you're still moving your fingers. They were off. But next week, don't forget they travel to the Evil Empire. That's right. The Evil Empire. We all know who that is. Yep. All right, let's guess it. Three, two, one. Hayesville. Swain. Gosh. I said Hayesville. Why'd you say Swain? I'm that hurt. I need this helmet. Gosh. Football had a game last night. I take on Gilmer County, winning 35-20 on Youth Night. It was a surprising victory. It really was. Caught a lot of people's attention, actually. And tonight we take on the Cherokee. 7:30 is kickoff, so be there and support the dogs. Come on. By the way, it's at Cherokee. Yes, it is. Now to top five plays of the week. Top, top five, five plays, plays of, of the week. week. Number five. Jenna Bello. Number four, the varsity cheerleaders and the youth cheerleaders. Number three, Gavin Harris with his first goal. Number two, Alex Seabolt. Number one, Matt Loving Good with a fantastic catch and run. That's it for the top five plays of the week, and that's it for sports. Now let's throw it over to Truth or Dare with Haley and Allison. Thanks, guys. She's Haley B. And that's Al. <laughs> this week on Truth or Dare, we were dared to fill up donuts with mayonnaise. Yummy. Special shout out to the person who sent this in. You know who you are. I think she might even have the same name as you. I think so. <laughs> Ew, stop doing that. What's that? It's just crazy. Cool. Thank you. The toothpaste. There we go. You clean it? Can I see it? Why is it salty? It has 
Oh. Oh. It don't even taste like they're bad. It doesn't taste like it. It tastes good. It tastes good. It tastes, it tastes real good. It tastes like really donut. What's in it? It fell apart in my hand. Mayonnaise. Nuh-uh. <laughs> I don't know. Did you taste the mayonnaise? Now I'm tasting it. Yes. <laughs> oh, mayonnaise. I'm glad I did not eat it. What? What? What's wrong there, Cody? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, a penny. I don't know, a dog. <laughs> a snake. 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 It has a head and a tail, but no body. But no body. Uh, a ghost. Head and a tail, but no body? I have no idea. A head and a tail. What? <laughs> I could have a comma, but <laughs> I don't know. That's a good one. I don't know. Uh, a snake? Um, a snake? A head and tail, but no body. A coin. That's it for this week's WDOG. The Paw. Remember Murphy High School, stay classy, keep your paws clean.